Um, hoi hoi folks, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface and welcome to today's video. If you're new here then welcome, if you're not new then welcome back. I have just been sent a lovely box from Stabilo, so one of their influencer packages. So I'm going to share the stuff that's in there because it's actually quite interesting in terms of organisation, which is not usually something we talk about on here. But I would kind of show you what I do when I'm kind of coming up with ideas and potentially a new way of sorting them. So. I'm going to turn the camera around, I'm going to show you what's in this box and we're going to get stuck in and create a little bit of artwork as well. And uh, there we go, right, I've zoomed out a little bit because I've got some slightly larger items, you can really see how mucky my desk is getting as well. I'm either going to have to really try and scrub this back or maybe just replace the desk. Um, but I've got my cup of tea, as you can see, as always, I can't make a video without having a cup of tea, let's have a little sip. Mmm, lovely. I've also got my candle burning as well. So this is that lovely pomegranate and coconut candle that I've had in the last few videos. Really, really lovely smell. Right, so we're going to talk organisation today and that's due to the items that I have been sent. So, as always, we have our items from Stabilo, but we've also got a few items from the company called Exacompter which is a stationary company from France. So, let's start with the Stabilo things first because this is super cute. This is the Pastel Love Special Edition set uh, and we've got in here the Pen 68 Mini, so 12 of those, the Point 88 Mini. We've got these highlighters, they're Boss Mini, and each one has a little, like a little catchphrase, a little inspirational quote. And then we've also got these Swano pencils in pastel colours. So I'm going to crack this all open in just a second, but I want to show you some of the other things that we've got from Exacompter. So this is all pastel themed, it's a pastel love set. So first thing we've got is this, which is a lovely purple pastel pen pot. That's fun to say, a yeah. purple pastel pen pot. Which obviously I can put a bunch of this into, into here and have it on my desk. It's a really cute colour. I know I'm usually into the dark and the broody and the horrific, but this is so sweet, it is so, so nice. So continuing that pastel organisation theme, we have this. It's a career cover, it's uh, basically a ring binder folder with a little plastic wallet on the front. And we have these. So these are the, um, they're, they're basically, there we go, let's open this up. These are like cardboard wallets. Uh, so I used to use these a lot when I was teaching to hold different files in. So very, very good for holding notes and drawings and sketches. As you know, if you saw my, my sketchbook, uh, reveal and saw all of those loose sheets of paper something like this is actually very very handy and it comes in all these lovely pastel colors we've got the green which I absolutely love I adore that the blue the purple which again gorgeous color the kind of pinky peachy color and that actually very bright yellow so we've got this lovely set here and then finally this last thing is this this is a bunny box. So I had never seen one of these before, uh, but I've been doing a little bit of research. So let me take the wrapping off of this and uh, we'll have a little bit of a, a chat about what a bunny box is. So I don't know how well you can see this, but we've got a little bunny face down here with the eyes, the nose, and we've got ears up here as well. So it's a lovely themed little bunny box. You press his nose and you can open the top like this. And we have a set of index cards. There's a little diagram that shows you how to open the box. Uh, we have index cards, so like flash cards, and we have these little separators. So the idea behind a bunny box is that these spacers go in here at regular intervals and space this out and it's a it's a learning device so you have questions on these cards and if you continue to get the question wrong it stays at the front 
of the deck and as you get it right more often it moves back so if you start if you've got one in four sections for instance in the third section you're, you've been getting it right and then suddenly you're starting to get things wrong that would come forward so that you're refreshing your memory more and revising that piece of work. If you start to get it right more often it goes back and it goes back even further and the idea is the closer to the front is the more often you are revising that piece of learning that you're trying to retain. So I'm not going to use it for that although I think it's, it's a brilliant idea. Um, my my kind of oh that locks oh look at that isn't that fun slides down so my use for this is actually going to be for ideas so as you'll know if you watched my last video i'm now moving to three videos a week so that is tuesdays art uh, and in this case organization as well fridays will now be crafting and making so that's going to be some bigger projects, some smaller projects, going to be more the making side of my channel. And then on a Sunday, we'll be gaming, where currently we're continuing with Passport 2, and I have some other art and potentially horror-themed games coming up in the future. So, I have lots of ideas, and generally, I use just notebooks and sketchbooks and, and all that kind of stuff. So this is a, the notebook that came with last month's Stabilo haul and it's been very useful for me to get ideas down for what I'm doing with the crafting side of the channel. And I've got some very exciting things coming up but I often find that I get ideas come to me kind of at random points so I'm going to keep a few of these with me in my bag or in my pocket and the rest I'm going to go in, in here and I'm going to separate it out into different sections and label each of these so that when I have ideas I can pop them in here and then when I'm coming up to making a new video or a project I can flick through, see which one I think is going to be the most appropriate for the time and then make that and I can also make notes on this on supplies that I might need and all that kind of stuff so it's actually going to be very very useful. So that is our bunny box um, and this bunny box is going to live on my desk if you've got names for my bunny box please I, I'd love to give this guy a name now of course all of this this other stuff these files and uh, the, the ring binder and of course this they're all just gonna help collate those ideas and uh, and get things together for future videos Right, let us quickly, I'm just going to move this to the side, open this, if I can find where the opening is, let's get those scissors. I actually shared a, a picture on Instagram recently of the bits of my desk that you guys, oh, punch the microphone, the bits of my desk that you guys don't see, everything that's out of shot, and uh, it gets to a point where it's... <laughs> Yeah, it gets it gets fairly messy. Oh, I actually need to cut both sides of this. Look at that. That is super cute. Look, that is incredibly sweet. I love these. Look at that. It's tiny, but it's so nice. Um, so, I have used all of these supplies before. I've used highlighters before, I've used these. The pen, both the point and the brush. So the points look like this, the tiny fine liners like that. And 0.4 millimeters. And then we have the brush, which are like these. All of these inks in the brush and in the point are aquarellable, which means you can wet them and use them like watercolors, which is very, very useful. The ones that I haven't used and I haven't seen before are these, these pastel pencils. So I'm just going to get these out. So these are the Swano pencils. This is a really lovely colour set. Look at those. That that is incredibly pretty. It's very it's a very aesthetic set to use, isn't it, with these pastel colours? You know what? I'm going to straight away pop them into into our little pastel pencil pot up here. I think I may do the same with some of these as well. So we've got the we've got the brush. 
at the front and let's put the points at the back. With the pencils, there we go. Look, look how cute that is, that's adorable. I'm not gonna put these in here because, you know, they're, they're just gonna get completely lost. Uh, so I'll keep those separate. So we've got Be Brave in a grey. We've got Be Happy in pink, Dream On in a purple. After the rain comes Sunshine in the yellow. We've got this mint green that says Collect Moments. And then we've got Keep Going in the blue. They are, they're really, really sweet. I really, really like those. I was going to sharpen these, but they've already been sharpened, so I don't need to get my swan sharpener out. So, in honour of the bunny box, I think I'm going to do a piece of bunny artwork using these Stabilo supplies. So, since they're aquarellable, I think I'm going to get some watercolour paper out. Maybe I'll do, I'll do a small one today. Let's see, uh, maybe an A5. I'll get some A5 watercolour paper. I'll do a quick little sketch using, of course, our Swano pencils, and uh, and then we'll get to colouring it with the other supplies that we've got. So, bear with me just a second. I will sort all of this out, and I'll be back with you with a sketch. Okay, so I've just done a quick rough sketch. So uh, I've actually done a jackalope, which is a a rabbit with or a hare with horns. So this is a slightly different style. I'm going for more of a kind of Celtic tribal thing. It is May Day today, so that kind of fits in. I'm gonna go, I've got a little bit of plastic here which was left over from the wrapping of all the other items. I'm gonna use that to uh, scribble some of these down and pick it up and use it as watercolors first. I need to knock back some of this pencil. These pencils, by the way, lovely. Really, really nice to use. It rays really nicely as well. So I'm gonna knock this back a little bit watercolour over the top and then I'll do some more detailed line work with the basically the uh, the 0.88 minis and maybe some highlighter stuff in there as well we will see how we go with that but I'm looking forward to this so I'm gonna I'm gonna knock back this sketch we'll zoom in a little bit and we'll get started with colouring in and painting this piece of artwork and here we are in time-lapse mode I'm gonna let this Mostly play as a time lapse is just a very quick message from me to say we are trying to smash 2,000 subscribers, so we're very much well on our way to that already. But 2,000 subscribers is our next target. I will be doing a competition and giveaway at that point as well. So please, please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to check that notification bell as well so you don't miss any videos in the future. Okay. With that out of the way, I'm going to leave you to enjoy the rest of this speed paint and I will join you at the end for a few final thoughts.
And there we go, a super quick jackalope bunny picture using these amazing pastel stabilo supplies of course inspired by that wonderful bunny box which i'm going to be putting all of my ideas in in the future so stabilo says dream on i say i really hope you've enjoyed today's video and as always until next time goodbye